Hey guys, it's me Karthik. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how we can implement the post mapping using Spring Data JPA in Spring Boot. So let me get started here. For that, we need to have a Spring Data JPA. So as you can see on the screen, I have already imported the Spring Data JPA. With this, we can use the Spring Data JPA repository and we can have we can use that methods to you know implement the post mapping okay so in my previous video we have seen how we can create this entity class called user and this entity class will have three fields customer id customer name and location and with this i am creating a table in the backend with a name called user and with the help of the post mapping post mapping is nothing but it will go and create a resource in the server so with the help of post mapping i'm going to insert the record into this table okay so for this i am taking one interface here so so here i have in the repository class let me take one interface let me say user uh, repository user repository so this is the interface let me close this this should be the interface so let me delete this create new interface here user repository user repository going to extend extend jpa repository right and the class name is user and uh, id id field is long right this is my id field and which is of long so simply I'll give something like this and import the JPA repository user class also need to import it so this is done this is in the repository class come to the controller package and create one class called user controller since it is a uh, rest controller so let me import rest controller first then the repository that we have given i'm using with the help of data dependency called auto wide so user repository user repo object auto wide import user repository import okay then here for post method i am using post mapping path is equal to let's say like uh, insert that would be fine okay and I could give something like consume application slash so it is going to consume the JSON type something like this we can define and public let's say like uh, as of now give it as void save data okay and here request body as user repository let's say like no no not user repository it should be of user usr here request body means whatever the data you want to end into the body so that value will get stored into the db table okay that value i am going to send as part of my request body 
user import the user post mapping also import it okay then consumes i think consumes yeah then i have my user repo right user repo dot save uh, let's say like user this is the normal implementation of the post mapping okay so just for clear understanding what it is returning what i'll do is i'll simply return this method so here user repo dot save and flash i have i'll use this method user let's say like user dest destination something like that and return dest that means the destination okay now let me execute this script and my application started executing in the meantime i'll go to the postman and i'll select my post method here now you could see it is uh, executing here so this is my path right insert so local host insert and as part of my request body i am sending user data so if i come here this is a generated value i don't need to send as part of my user body right so customer name let me keep it as something like kartik and the location field should be like let me give hyderabad and if i execute this what will happen now you could see we have got the cust id which got generated right so here let me go to the user repository so user data i have sent as a request body this one out of which after that it has created a record and it sent us back the record which got inserted this is the inserted record so how do i see whether it got created or not simply go to the db where is the db here so local host h2 console 1 2 3 1 2 3 user data executed now you could see we got this record right so this is a small example of how we can use a post mapping in our case i hope this video is informative for you guys if you found this video informative don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you